to get started in the first uh, this course is a little bit different from the IntelliPass. Do you still have the IntelliPass course? Uh, no, I mean, from the uh, associate's degree? Yeah, or current, current courses, do you have any courses still use IntelliPass? No, no, no. I think last time, last time I had uh, in this uh, statistic classes, but they yeah. were only for two units and other units, they were only individual project and uh, discussion board. But uh, I, uh, you know, get fun doing um, uh, this uh, IntelliPath. When it's an individual project, it's a little bit, you know, more oh. uh, like um, hard for me. But I love uh, uh, doing IntelliPath. It's, it's really nice. Like, you know, you can score more through IntelliPath. Where, and, but this time we don't have any IntelliPath classes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The this course, the uh, the professor actually uh, uh, redesigned this course and they removed that uh, IntelliPass. So we do not have any IntelliPass in this course. Oh. Yeah. So only for this subject or uh, upcoming other subjects will also not have IntelliPass. Uh, I heard that the the graduate level course also. Uh, they have planned to remove that in telepass. If so you they, can request, please tell them not to do that because that is one of the way, like even uh -huh. if we are, uh, you know, scoring less on other uh, projects, at least we can score good on this. Like, you know, that's really best thing, but it's management's <laughs> decision. But if they consider uh, students, opinions or students feedback then at least give intelligent it's it's fun learning thing it's something you yeah. learn with uh you know fun you yeah. if you are wrong you again go back read everything mm -hmm. and then you again uh, take a exam i mean uh, take answers and it's really yeah. fun and then mm -hmm. you get better opportunity to score yeah i but this course you can see that uh, only like individual project. So we have, um, hmm. yeah, several five individual project is kind of, um, so you gotta have to uh, I use- I think four, uh, fifth week has only discussion board. Yeah, four, yeah, four individual uh, project. So each project hmm. will give you, five. yeah, 120 hmm. points. So, so yeah. yeah. But so you know, some professors to... are really generous and giving, I mean, you know, grades, but um, many professors, I have seen many professors, like individual project, I mean, uh -huh. like sometimes B, B plus, it's very difficult for get A or A plus with some professors and some really consider our hard work. So it depends on, uh, you know, uh, professor to professor, but however, in telepath is, it's not depend on them. It depend on us, like how well we do that, you know? Yeah. So, so it, it, it's a kind of, uh, um, uh, they, they provide, you know, the, actually they mm. provide a green rubric, the, the instructor. Mm. And, yes, yes. Will yes. be a little bit more flexible, you know, to to yeah. give students the grade based on the instructor's grading. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. But you know that's gonna be a little bit different from a different professor. You know, some some mm -hmm. professor is a very stringent. Some of the professor, yes, is a um, little bit because flexible. I remember in my associates, um. Yeah. I was really doing good, but, and I was expecting that, oh, wow, I have done so much hard work and effort. There is no similarity score. Everything is for guidance. So obviously I will score A, I will score A. And then I end up, I end up getting B, B plus, and it's little, you know, demotivating yeah. for me <laughs> because <laughs> when I don't do, then I don't expect, but when I really do hard work and if I don't get, it's little demotivating and I'm like, oh, wow, I, I'll score better in Intellipad. That's fine. And then I go ahead and do Intellipad again and again. And then I, you know, make a, make sure yeah. that I get score because GPA matters, right? At the end of the mm -hmm. year, if you have a good GPA, that really matters. So, yeah, but yeah. Such is life, expect unexpected. <laughs> I was all happy for in telepath, but this is an expected situation. But yeah, we'll learn out of it. It's not always to stay in a comfort zone, come out. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's. Uh, okay. You know we let's uh, get a brief review of the course. Uh, mm -hmm. So can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, okay. I can. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, we get into this course on the portal, and you can see we have a course home, read mm -hmm. book attendance, meeting yeah, room, meeting time. the restaurant and the syllabus. Okay, so hmm. I strongly suggest, um, you know, students to, uh, to read the course syllabus. That's, hmm. the, uh, that's the most important document. So you can download uh, the course hmm. the syllabus, right? Hmm. So you read mm -hmm. the course syllabus and it will help you. Uh, this is the uh, uh, different units, which uh, is a topic for each unit. So each unit we mm. have a topic, so we can, uh, you know, scroll all the way down here to to get a general mm. idea of this course. Um, mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, you know, this is the uh, the course syllabus, and also we have. Uh, you can check your grade on this uh, grade book. Okay. And every time we have our meeting, so the meeting time, uh, the meeting. Oh, it also says the meeting time, right? Yeah. So for mm -hmm. attendance and the rosters, we do not need to check that much. But the, uh, the professor usually, we have to check that every time and the post uh, students are attendance. Mm -hmm. uh, the meeting time, we have uh, all the meetings here. So we yeah. have upcoming uh, uh, live meeting. They have the date and the time. Yeah. So each one of these have date and time. So we mm. have all of the all the four uh, units, you know, in on uh, Thursday, and the last oh, one is on Wednesday, right? The last one right. is on Wednesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the okay. So the the. The course home, that's the course document. So you can see the course home, they have uh, unit one, unit five. Mm. So both, okay, the tab, all those tabs are most uh, useful on the top. And then we have a different unit, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so mm. we have a uh, unit one and then, mm. yeah, unit one is, uh, the role of finance in the organization. Mm. So basically, this one is talking about uh, how finance uh, being uh, oh, used cool. in the organization, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so this is a uh, this is the main topic. So we we have uh, several um, you know the several um, learning materials here. So you can see you screw down here and they have a 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D. So the the one we use is 2C. So you can click on the role of finance in the organization here. Hmm. Once you click on the role of finance in the organization, it will give you the lecture or materials hmm. uh, we are going to learn in this, um, uh, this module. Hmm. Yeah, so we can see that uh, some of them they have like this video, right? We can watch yeah. and some we can read. Yeah, you we can watch that, and hmm. also we have um some of them as like a book. Book, this, yeah. Yeah, the book one is just a PDF file, and hmm. it's not a video. And we also have something as like a um. You know, Reading. sound and yeah. video and put together and the questions and video mm. together. Yeah, so right. we have audio as well. You know, this one you can just listen or you watch a video or you mm. read the text. Right. So, yeah, right. it, it's three different mm. format, right? Three different format. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Video, mm. audio, or text. So while working also, we can at least... Uh, hear the audio like if you're doing anything else but at least we can hear and we can learn better yes that's right mm -hmm. yeah so you can mm -hmm. use either way yeah <clears throat> okay so we okay the first one uh, we're gonna talk about is um, you know for each unit what 
um, you know, uh, this is the first day we start at six on Monday, uh, uh, on, oh. on March 30, okay, Thursday. So every Thursday, yeah, keep in oh. mind, we are going to meet on live chat. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay, unit starts on Wednesday, but our live session is on Thursday, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so the unit one to unit four, we have a meeting on Thursday. And unit five, we have that on Wednesday. So, hmm. but the, the weekly assignment, like usually they start on Wednesday and end on Tuesday. So that's the. Okay. We yeah. have to submit before that, right? Yeah, you have to submit, submit everything before hmm. Tuesday. Hmm. Okay. okay. Submit your assignment. Uh, before Tuesday, uh -huh. yeah, Tuesday midnight. Yeah, so we we use uh -huh. the central time. Yeah, right. so meet your assignment before Tuesday midnight. Okay, the, um, uh -huh. so the assignment. Um, I'm going to show you what assignment we have for each each unit. So uh -huh. we go. Okay, we go down to the. The course at home, and we have the introduction. Okay, so we're gonna have this uh, uh, unit one. So when you see unit one, uh, you will see um, you have assignment, right? Oh. You have unit one assignment. So the two major assignment here. So one is the discussion okay, board, right? Discussion board. And another hmm. one is called individual project. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I, I don't know why they choose on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, this time I have seen that all the discussion board posts are on Tuesday. Even in the other subject, every yeah. submission date is on Tuesday, like discussion board to post an individual project, everything for both the subject, it shows on Tuesday, like, you know. Yes. Earlier it was Friday submission and by Tuesday two comments in discussion board and uh, individual project on Tuesday. But oh, this time okay. it says everything on Tuesday. So we are getting oh. very <laughs> many grace days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you know that uh, usually they have um uh, Friday. By Friday, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so yes. they want you to post your initial post by Friday and hmm. then you have a two replies to others that is by yes. Tuesday. You know, one by that's correct. Saturday, mm -hmm. another one by Tuesday. So Tuesday mm -hmm. is the last day to uh, to post the the third one. You have yeah. each discussion board. You have a uh, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we have the individual project. Oh, that's also a very important one. That's a hundred. Yeah. Right. 175, yes. Yeah, that's so, sir, um, is it uh, true, like uh, in my uh, uh, earlier class, when we were participating in discussion during the live session, uh, the professor used to say that you don't need to participate on discussion board. Uh, so is it the same in this or this is different? Oh, this is the, the policy. Uh, I'm going to uh, go back to the policy we here, you know, we click mm -hmm. on okay. home. Uh, I want everybody mm -hmm. to know that, okay. Mm -hmm. So the discussion board policy remembers, I this is the announcement, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we have the, uh, the policy is that uh, discussion board as a sub-mental or makeup activity. So that means if you uh, attend the live chat mm -hmm. and you discuss the question, and you don't have to post discussion board. Okay. Yeah, so you will get, uh, for you, we will get full credit. For the student didn't come to the live chat session today, so they hmm. will have to do the, the discussion, discussion board posting. Board. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you-, you But uh, you, then, uh, then that mark depends on the discussion board uh, write-up or, or, I mean, how it works. like. Um, I don't think so. I'm going to miss any class, but I think on probably next class, which is on uh -huh. Thursday, 
my yeah. um, auntie is coming all the way from India after six years. So I might go to airport to pick her up and her flight timing is for the evening. So oh. I can still drive on, on my way driving. I can still, you know, be on, attend the session. But okay. if in case there is any problem, if I don't attend and if I do discussion board, so yeah. there will, how, how grading will be uh, take place over there? Because if oh, nobody okay. is posting, then how will I uh, uh, submit my two more posts? Yeah, so if uh, that's the, the case next week, uh, you couldn't come. So we, uh, so you will post the discussion board. Okay. Okay, but they also yeah. ask for two comments on others' post. But if there is no post, if yeah. I see. Then... Yeah, that's right. You need to make an initial uh, post by Friday. Okay. And mm -hmm. then one by Saturday and one by Tuesday. That's the other two uh, reply to others. If you okay. do not have enough, you know, uh, classmates, you know, all the classmates uh, are attend the live chat or accept you. So you will mm -hmm. reply to yourself, you know, and make it two. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, reply, okay, okay. You know, make it just two. Or, or, you, make, or you make one question for me, so I'll reply to <laughs> Yeah, so so I have it, one one reply to myself and one reply to professors. <laughs> make two replies, but you know, yeah, yeah. make little entertaining. <laughs> yes, so that's a, in yeah, some that's yeah insane. sometimes it happened last time. You know, we we have a student only mm -hmm. one didn't come in. Yeah, said, it happened last class time. also. Only one student was there, and then he uh, called me that hey. I know you attended um, live session, but uh, I posted something and, you know, replied. So uh -huh. I randomly post and, uh, and then he replied on my post, even though I I was not, uh, I mean, it was not needed for me to do post, but just for him, I did mm -hmm. it so that he can reply. Yeah. That's, <laughs> okay. Good. So we, uh, let me uh, see the, the class here we have. Okay, so let's click on unit one. Okay, so later on, we're going to talk about uh, how the grading rubric or for a discussion okay. board, you know, what is the details requirement for discussion board and how hmm. the discussion board will be created. Okay, hmm. so uh, today is unit one. Uh, we hmm. want to know uh, the role of finance in the organization. Okay, this is the uh, finance. Uh, finance is a part of the uh, a important concept and important uh, part of the business or organization. So we wanted to, uh, first I wanted to introduce finance and the form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get uh, started. <clears throat> In business, financial okay, can you guidelines. Hear that? Yes. Okay. Determine how money is raised and spent. Although raising and spending money may sound simple, financial decisions affect every aspect of a business, from how many people a manager can hire, to what products a company can produce, to what investments a company can make. So, how is finance managed in today's successful firm? We begin our examination of this fundamental question by focusing on finance and the modern firm the nature of financial markets, and a description of key financial institutions. Finance can truly be considered the lifeline of any type of business, large or small, public or private, high-tech or no-tech. Without an effective financial management system, even the most cash-rich companies with the best products will have to fold sooner or later. On the other hand, companies with a sound financial underpinning and viable products or services will certainly continue to grow and create even more wealth for their owners and or shareholders. Moreover, this very last issue, wealth creation and effective shareholder wealth maximization, happens to top the list of management's main objectives at almost all corporate enterprises. Given the fact that the shareholder's wealth at any given company amounts to the market value of the stocks at that company, we can, in fact, stipulate that the primary goal of management is maximization of stock prices. If this is true, we might also ask the following question. What determines market value or price of any given stock? The answer is very simple, cash and risk. 
Specifically, stock prices are determined by the expected net cash to be received and the related level of risk. Furthermore, these two key factors, cash and risk, also define the role of financial managers at publicly held corporations. Stated differently, a financial manager's job primarily involves management of cash and risk at his or her company. Here, cash involves both incoming cash, cash inflows, and outgoing cash, cash outflows. While risk has to do with the uncertainty surrounding a firm's expected cash inflows and cash outflows. It is also necessary for us to learn about the way our financial markets operate. For starters, financial markets bring together savers or suppliers of capital, mainly households, and investors or demanders of capital, corporations, government, and individuals. Because economic conditions vary among both investors and savers, there are a wide range of financial instruments or securities available to both sides to cater to their financial needs. For the same reason, there are also many financial intermediaries and institutions within financial markets that facilitate flow of funds from one end to the other. Intermediary types range from commercial banks to investment houses, where almost any type of security can be created to match a given party's cash risk needs. The two main securities used by corporations to raise funds are stocks and bonds. Both corporate stocks and bonds are more risky than the long-term certificates of deposits CDs, issued by banks or bonds issued by the government. This means companies have to pay higher yields in order to woo investors to invest in their securities. Such a return risk relationship also lies at the heart of finance and will be studied in much further detail in later chapters. Okay, good. Uh, so we have the video um, tutorial for finance and the form. Okay, so after you watch this video, uh, do you have any questions? No, sir. It's pretty much understandable. Okay. You know, um, okay, one of the uh, good thing is, you know, a lot of students, um, you know, wanted to ask me uh, why we talk about uh, finance uh, and form, okay? So mm -hmm. remember, you know, we uh, when you take economics class, you know, before, mm -hmm. uh, Okay, this is, uh, you know, when you have economics class, you know, you have the, uh, this is talking about that's the business. And then you have, um, okay, you have the uh, two important thing. Okay, remember, so you have, um, okay. Uh, when you take economics class, did you take economics class before? Not for the bachelor's. Oh, not for the bachelor's degree? No, I just okay. took two classes. One was uh, organization management something and then quantitative data. And okay. Oh, okay. So the, you know, if you take uh, like, a, you know, economics, uh, mm. uh, microeconomics or you know, macroeconomics. Micro. Yeah. Mm. Is there one of those? And you will see economics, they're talking about the two is seen. And one is called labor. And then oh. you have labor, you know, oh, oh this one, okay, RT is a labor. And another oh. one, you know what, this uh, capital. Capital and labor. Yeah, yeah capital and labor. important for right? organization. Yeah. Yes. So you have another one is called the capital. Man, money, and machine like that. Yeah. So you have a labor and a capital, and then um, assets. Yeah. So you got an output, right? You got a products, and then you have um. So this is the the output. Okay. Mm -hmm. So output is um. You know your output is the um. Is a quantity, okay, your product. So that's uh, economics. Economics talking about uh, two things, okay. Economics talking about your quantity is equal to a function of that labor and capital. Is that right? Hmm. 
yeah yes. so that's yeah. the your know, economics talking about so you know you see the output the the products mainly depends on two things one is uh how many people you are working there and what is it how, how much capital you invested capital. okay that's economics but hmm. uh, finance is a little bit different sometimes you know uh, students ask me hey professor you know i'm doing economics so what is the difference between economics and finance okay finance is going to focus more in this business okay look at the, hmm. the green thing right hmm. this is the the business okay so finance is telling you mm -hmm. what happens in this business mm. yeah so you know economics doesn't care what's going on here in a business it, it, it as long it's as on a large money, scale it is yeah. the overall economy of the country or place or society yeah so if that is you know like a um as long as you have more labor more capital you're gonna have mm. more output more product what yeah. is the business? Is a good business, bad business? How the business organized doesn't matter. As long as you have more labor, more capital, more output, oh. yeah, products. But the finance talking about that, okay, that's not true. Oh. You know, even you have a lot of labor and capital, you got to a business not efficient. It does not necessarily generate more output, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So this is the most because important. other factors are also responsible, like competition and economic policies yeah. and changes and yeah, you're right. So this is a uh, you know this is a this is a what a finance. Why fi we talk about you know finance and organization is uh, organization they have a structure. So uh, so finance is um, going to analyze what's happened. What is happening, you know, in this business, you know, mm. how the business is organized. Okay, it's mm. not, it's not necessary to have to come out of more products. You just invest more money and you put more, uh, more people. That's mm. not true, right? So the, yes. yeah, finance is talking about this. Okay, finance says a company or a business uh, has two groups of people. Hmm. Yeah, so the, I'm going to make it bigger so you can see my screen. Okay, yeah. the two oh. groups of people. So the, the the look at the green one. This is the principles. Okay, what is the principle? Principles are owners of the business. Okay, owners hmm. are owners. You know, they invest. Huh? Yeah, they invest their money in the company. Hmm. Yeah, this is groups of people, and another group of people is called agents. Okay, so we, sometimes we call our uh, principles and agents conflict, principles and agents. What are the agents? Agents are the people that they hired, okay, like the managers, mm. right? Yeah, manager of the company or CFO, managers, all those people. Okay, what is the relationship between these two? Mm, is like that a, they you know, both work for the same business? Uh, no, this group, this manager work for the owner. Oh, okay, yeah. for the owner. Okay. Yeah. So hmm. the you look at the 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 green, they have a necktie and hmm. work for the owner. The owner, you know, they just invest their money, and it doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, the owner uh, might just take the benefit of the company. They don't have to work. If you are the owner of the company, you don't have to work. And because you invest your money, you have to make sure you choose the right person to make more money for you, right? So mm. you got yes, it? Yes, principles. Yeah. Yes, yes. The relationship between these two is like they have employment, employment contract. So those owners hire a manager and the manager will work hard to earn more money for the owners. If they don't, the owners will not be satisfied. They fire that manager, choose another one, right? Mm, right. Yeah. So that's uh, that's uh, how the company is organized. Okay. Mm. So there are two professors. One is Jensen, and another one is Michael, nineteen seventy six, and they says, okay, this company 
how the company is organized uh, based, based on the employment contract. So that's mm. how the company organized. Okay, those companies organized that way, they must separate ownership and management. Okay, so you cannot just do, okay, you are the owner and you still work like what you said. Okay, you are the owner, you work as a manager. Um, mm. um, that's not the way of the big company is organized. Okay, so mm. the, the thing is that, you know, they have a problem and uh, they wanted to, one thing is they wanted to have a most talent uh, manager. So you might uh, be a good, you have a lot of money, but you are rich, but you might not be a good person to manage that company, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you, you might know finance, you might know accounting, but you might don't know the technique. Okay. The, the, you need expert in that. Yeah. So you wanted to hire in the most talented people and you pay money mm you know, for them to work for you. And then they generate more money, right? Mm. That's how the company is organized. Okay, so the first thing is that the company has to be a uh, separation of ownership and management. There's the owner, you are the owner, good. You just mm. uh, um, invest your money. You, you don't have to work for that company for yourself. That's, a, that's a, the first thing. And mm. you just looking for someone, they you know have more talent, you know, or have a uh, management skill to work for you. They can generate more money, and you just uh, relax and enjoy that benefit. Mm. Is that right, or you? Right. <laughs> what do you think? No, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you know some of the yeah. uh, family business like in Indian. Or hmm. uh, so the Arab Asian, hmm. yeah, Asian country. They they want to say, okay, I wanted to be uh, like a family business. I don't want to hire someone. Okay. Yes. That, yeah, that's yeah, because you have to rely be reliable on others, and I don't. We don't know how much uh, trustworthy they are. So instead of hiring experts, mm -hmm. they maybe acquire that knowledge. They get experience somewhere else. They get trained somewhere else, and then they manage their own family business. So uh -huh. that there is no cheating or no any other issues. Yeah. Manpower. Yes. But that uh, mm -hmm. family business is a type, uh, one type of a business, but mm -hmm. that's not the, the most popular one. When you look at the companies in the United States, you know, the mm -hmm. major company, the big company, all mm -hmm. of them are. For small business, it's okay, but for big business, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Yes, all of them are, you know, large uh, publicly mm. listed company, right? Mm. So it, it, it's not a small, like a family business. Family business has the problem, you know, in, in the future. Because, yeah, there are consequences in yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are the owner, you know, you, you might want it to, some of the owners, they don't want it to work, you know. They already have a lot of money, why? <laughs> They want yes. to work hard, right? And they don't have time because they have multiple business. So if they get stuck at one place, they won't yeah. be able to explore other things. So, yeah. yeah. Especially, that's right. You know, they have a business expanding. They have more business. Yeah. Hmm. That's the problem. So uh, family business is uh, especially, you know, some Asian country. That hmm. could be true. But it's not the most popular one in the in the whole world. So, in the world, we uh, large companies, and they have all of them are uh, this mm. type of modern business. We call modern business or modern corporation, and they have their ownership and management separate. Mm. Yeah, that's how the company is organized. Okay, yeah. company is organized based on employment and contract. The owner hiring someone, you know, to mm. manage that company on their behalf. Mm. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, mm. so that's a good thing. Okay, but, you know, 
uh, the company you have to manage well because you wanted to pay the manager money because the manager you know they don't want it to work for free so mm. and, and also the manager wanted to be busy and lazy you know sometimes if you they wanted to increase their salary so as a, <laughs> that's no problem you mm. know for the owner you know mm. you wanted to find out the most a talented people but you mm. you don't want it to you know, pay too much, right? So, hmm. yeah, so that's uh, the owner. From the owner's perspective, you wanted to hire uh, uh, people who is very talented. They are willing to work for you. Yeah, but the uh, other thing is that you don't want it to, you know, the manager to pay too much, you know, because uh, that's the money. They are, they are compensation coming out from your pocket. So, yeah, so they're gonna have a uh, a conflict between the owners and the managers. Hmm. Yeah, so that's a uh, basically that's the problem need to be solved. So what what the uh, the manager or the owners do typically they give them uh, the policy is called a carrot and a stick. Okay, carrot and a stick. You know, if you do good. I give you a carrot, give you a increase, give you bonus, and they, you know increase the salary or something. Uh, if you didn't do good, uh, you're gonna pay penalty or lower your your salary or even being fired. So that's uh, that's how they uh, how the owners and managers in their relationship. Um, uh, recent, you know, recent years, uh, the owners didn't do that. Okay, the owners mm. didn't do okay. You know, um, they, they lower your salary or increase your salary. That might be true, but now the the owners become uh, even smarter. You know, you know what they do? Mm. They give them a stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they give they them a stock. 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 Yeah, give them a stocks. Do you know stock? Yeah, the stakes in the company. The yeah, the stake of the company, partnership. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they don't give those owner, uh, those managers, um, money or uh, you know, fixed amount of mm. uh, cash or something. They just give them a stock. Okay, we call this one is stock option. Mm. Okay. The stock option has a benefit for the manager is that when the manager work hard, they work like a partner. Yes, they got a more, the stock price uh, also go up, right? And they have yes. that shares and the, the mm. shares of value will increase. Yes. Yeah, the owner it's don't have to do anything. You know, the owner mm. have, don't have to, you know, push you to do it. You will work for, you know, for the shares. Mm. Because your your salary is the most of the majority of the your your salary is based on the shares, is not mm. based on the the money. So the manager so knows that to, in order to get more profit, you will work even better. Yes. So the mm. manager will work even harder, and you know even mm. the owner didn't push them, they still know that okay, and because they mm. are shares, you know, part of the stake of the company, so they mm. call stock option, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so even thing. I have seen like in um, people who are working in a gas station. So yeah. when they see new new families coming from Asia or something, so they will set it up in that gas station and they give them working partnership. So oh. he's a manager, but they give them working partnership, twenty yeah. percent or fifteen percent. So mm -hmm. they also get the pay. Yeah. payroll like whatever the payroll four thousand five thousand for the smoke sh uh, smoke shop or a gas station. Yeah, and on top of that, they get twenty percent working partnership. But in that oh, case, okay. owner never comes to the business. End of the month or biweekly, uh, they take accounts from the manager. What's uh -huh. the purchase? What's the bank? Uh, how much deposit in a bank and everything? Yeah, and then in the end of the month, whatever profit they give twenty percent of that profit to the manager who's working for uh, the smoke shop or for the gas station. So okay. they are manager, but they are partner, but a working partner. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't like one thing about that, that that partner is only for the profit, partner in profit only. They are not in the loss. If, if store uh-huh. is making loss, yeah. it's not on them. Only oh, thing okay. is that they won't get paid on time or maybe um, hours less or something like that. Those are the only consequences. But uh, it's a good opportunity for the uh, manager who's a working partner because without doing any investment, any capital, uh-huh. they can uh, you know be a partner and have a profit. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, good strategy. You know, mm-hmm. they, they got a partnership. And they know mm. that okay, there's a you know it's kind of my company as well. So they they will work mm. hard, and you mm. know motivate themselves to work hard. You don't have to push yes. them. Yeah. Yeah, and then they don't make any blunders because um, if company is making profit, they will get profit. So many yeah. a time when they hire manager, they uh-huh. have their separate register to run. But mm-hmm. when it is everything, I mean, they are also part of business. Yeah, they yeah. know that they will get something. It's not that only salary. So mm-hmm. that that is also mindset because of that. This owners they do this because they have multiple smoke shop or multiple gas station, two hundred mm-hmm. gas station under one corporation. Yeah, so two hundred gas station. How they will gonna manage? They cannot be everywhere. So they pick a family, they put them over there, and they give them working. So mm-hmm. that's how they run their business, which is yeah, interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a very good uh, you know discussion. We have mm-hmm. um, a, a lot of uh, this kind of like a uh, um, uh, cases in uh, in the real world, and when you mm-hmm. think about that, you know it's gonna uh, help you to manage the company. It's not only mm-hmm. the company, anything. Um, so we can typically see, you know, like uh, you go to the restaurant and. They they ask for to pay uh, tips tips for the for the people like a server, uh, mm. you know, uh, for the service. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So you 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 know give give that you know the owner says okay if you provide good service your customer will give you more tips right yeah, more tips. Right. So if you didn't mm. do good you know you the your customer will now going to give you a tips. Yeah. So that's a, yeah, but they give hourly pay very less in that case to them, maybe $3 yeah. or something. Everything is on tips. That's why that means you give better customer service. Yes. So if you do the service, you, you're going to place your customer, you know, you, you wanted to get more tips, right? Because the, the base mm. salary is very low. So mm. yeah, similar to this one, you know, that like a, a manager and the owner do wanted to give them cash value. It just uh, uh, gives them uh, shares of the company, okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. So if you, you work hard and, you know, your share price is going to go up, yeah, your salary, your revenue is going to go up, that's the same thing. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. we have um, yeah a lot of uh, this kind of, uh, ex, you know, like examples in our life. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good thing. And in, in mm-hmm. the other picture, you look at the, the car, right? You know? Mm-hmm. If you rent a car, you know, you rental, mm. you got a rental car, you know, there is, you know, that it's dangerous, you know, there are big bomb or head, but you just mm. run over it, you know, because the car is not your own car, you just rent that car. Mm. You rent yeah. car yeah. But if you, this is in your new car, you might <laughs> think about, you know, there's a big bomb or head, okay. Mm. Try to drive slow, you know, and try to avoid that bump, right? So that's your own mm. car. <laughs> so mm. that that's a, you know, it, it seems like you give you stake or shares of the company, or you will take care of the company very good because you think, oh, okay, that's a part of uh, my business. So that's a, that's why. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So the. Uh, you know, the company has to manage that way, you know, otherwise, and um, they are going to have a problem. So that's uh, what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, is that now is uh, that help you to uh, understand economics and finance? Mm. Yeah. Finance focus mm. on this business. black box, right? Yeah, business, yeah, okay. blue box, yeah, business. yeah, blue box. So at the beginning, you know, the 
Now, economics, when we learn nothing, you get, we didn't talk about anything about how this box, you know, is organized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. So we have uh, some discussion about the topic here. The discussion topic. Okay, unit one discussion mm -hmm. board. Okay, so when you look at that, um, okay, we have a discussion board and then assignment details. Um, think of a business or organization that you would like to work with. As a financial manager, explain how you would use uh, two specific ratio in daily operation to ensure the success of the organization. Okay, so this is the, the question we're talking about for the mm -hmm. uh, first week. Okay. Now we go back to the learning materials. You know, we are going to learn what is the role of a financial manager. If you are a financial manager, you know, uh, what you need to do and what is your job. And also we wanted to know the ratio of the company. So what is that? Which one is important? Okay, okay the role of financial manager. So I think ratio is helpful uh, uh, to pay debts and short-term bills and other obligations, right? Yeah. yeah. So the ratio analysis is, uh, they have five different categories. Mm. And, you know, they have, uh, you know, they, the first they category. have enough is, liquidity. Yeah, liquidity. And, you know, majorly, uh, you know, the five categories is, um, uh, ability to generate revenue. Okay, that's the first group. First group is, uh, does that company has ability to uh, generate more revenue? And mm. the second grade, the second category is, does that company has uh, ability to pay off their short-term debt? Mm. Short-term debt. And the third mm. grade is, uh, you know, the long-term debt. Mm. Yeah, so some of the company, what is the the debt level for a long term debt, and also the mm. the uh, the first uh, categories of uh, ratio analysis is talking about uh, the efficiency. Does that company operate efficiently? Okay. Mm. Yeah, the first is the revenue, and the second groups is a uh, uh, short term debt. Short term, a uh, short term debt management, and the third category is long term debt management, and the last is that uh, the efficiency. You know that's a uh, of ratio, financial ratios. So let mm -hmm. you know. Let's uh, you know, watch this one, and we wanted to know what type of ratio and what does that mean. Hello, class. This is financial. Management 310, Unit 1 Lesson on Financial Ratio Analysis. This is Dr. Patrice Nybro recording. Financial ratio analysis is all about the relationships between different accounts from financial statements, usually the income statement and the balance sheet that serve as performance indicators. Because they are relative values, financial ratios allow for meaningful comparison between two competitors and comparisons with industry averages. Industry ratios will be used as benchmarks for our financial analysis today, since comparing company ratios with industry averages is quite informative. In this presentation, we will analyze two firms for investment purposes. The conclusion of this presentation will provide a determination on which of the two companies is a better investment 
based on these analyses. Coke or Pepsi? Coca-Cola Company and PepsiCo Incorporated are both large cap growth companies in the consumer non-durables industry. Let's back up a bit. What does that mean? Large cap means they have a lot of money, a lot of capital, large cap. Growth companies means they're still growing. They're still expanding in different markets. They're not um, mature companies any longer that, that have stopped growing. They're still growing. They're in the consumer non-durables industry. Consumers are buying their products, just like you and me, but their products are non-durable, not like this desk that I'm knocking on right here. They are non-durable industry. They are the non-durables because when you drink a can of soda, it's gone. So it's not a durable product. Both companies are distributed in more than 200 countries worldwide. The two companies appear to be attractive, attractive investments, but we will investigate this further. The investigation will consist of financial analysis, which is the utilization of financial ratios to determine the strengths, weaknesses, and the direction of a company's performance. PepsiCo is currently the world's largest snack maker and second largest soft drink maker. I learned after this analysis that Pepsi also sells Frito-Lays, and Frito-Lays are the number one snack food in the world. Coca-Cola is the number one soft drink maker. We will both analyze, we will analyze the financial ratios of both firms and take a look at how they're performing. Well, we use three main financial ratios. The liquidity ratio, can the company meet its obligations over the short term? Asset management ratios, how efficiently is the company managing its assets to generate sales? And market value ratios, how do investors in the stock market view the company's financial prospects? Liquidity says, can I pay my bills? Liquidity ratios are quick measures of the firm's ability to pay its bills or conduct business over the short term. There are two main liquidity ratios, the current ratio, which is current assets from the balance sheet divided by current liabilities also from the balance sheet. The current ratio is a standard look at liquidity. The quick ratio, on the other hand, is very similar to the current ratio, but it's called the acid test because it's a more stringent test of liquidity. What the quick ratio does is it takes out inventories from that current assets figure. So the current assets minus the inventories is the numerator in the quick ratio. And then you divide by current liabilities similar to, similar to the current ratio. So what I like to think of the quick ratio, I like to think I need that money quick. So let's say I have a closet full of Giorgio Armani dresses that I wear to all of the awards shows in New York City and I have $100,000 worth of dresses, but I just found out my husband got sent to jail and he wants to be, me to bail him out and he needs $100,000 to bail him out. Okay, wow. Can I sell my dresses today? I can't. They're not very liquid. So the quick ratio says, what are your liquid assets? Not your inventories that might be tied up in the warehouse or impossible to sell today. I want to see how fast you could liquidate how fast you could get that money to me. So the quick ratio just talks about how quickly you can get the money. So looking at Pepsi versus Coke versus the industry, Coke can't even cover its bills by one time with a current ratio of 0.96. The industry is at 105 doing okay. Pepsi's beaten them with 1.24 in liquidity. Quick ratio, same thing for Coke and the industry where Pepsi is almost being able to cover their bills with just their money on hand. Asset management ratios measure how efficiently a firm uses its assets to generate revenues. The ratios also determine how much cash is being tied up in other assets, such as receivables and inventory. So looking at inventory turnover, Pepsi is beating Coke by a margin. 8.2 for Pepsi versus 5.54 for Coke. And Pepsi is also beating out the industry with a 6.5. Asset turnover, once again, Pepsi's killing it with an 88 versus 0.54 for Coke and 0.67 in the industry. Market value ratios are used to gauge how attractive a firm's current stock market price is relative to its earnings, its growth rate, and its book value. Pepsi is beating 
Coke, even though its PE ratio is lower than Coke and in the industry. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a bad thing because that means that the numerator, the price divided by earnings is actually lower. P is, is lower than E. S&P index has about a $20, $20 price to earnings ratio. I think that Pepsi's killing it here in price to earnings ratio with a lower price as the numerator versus their earnings as the denominator. Market versus book value. Market value is how much it's selling today versus the book value, how much it started out at. So if I bought this house at 200000 that would be my book value. Market value is what I could sell it at today, which could be 400000 So my market value being 400000 versus my book value of 200000 shows that I have a nice market to book value for my house. And this shows market to book value is up for Pepsi, more than Coke and more than the industry. But one thing that I like to show you is this earnings per share at $4.26 per share for Pepsi versus earnings for Coke at $1.93. So Pepsi is doubling the earnings per share versus Coke. So my summary is Pepsi's winning on all three different analysis of ratios. Liquidity, Pepsi is better able to repay its bills, asset management, they're managing their assets more efficiently and their earnings per share is killing it also. Now that I have exhausted my personal analysis, let me show you what the pundits had to say about these two companies when I did this analysis. They showed Coke underperforming versus Pepsi outperforming. Year-to-date gains were up for Pepsi more than Coke and year-to-year -year revenue up for Pepsi versus lower for Coke. By conclusion, Pepsi is a more diversified product. I also learned that current, they have the number one largest snack food company and Pepsi also owns Pizza Hut. Being an Italian, I don't like Pizza Hut, but they still own it. So they're selling chips and pizza and soda, all the three bad things for our health, right? Which, but Pepsi is selling them equally and has, is more diversified, whereas Coke has 70% of the sales from soda. In conclusion, I believe that the diversification of Pepsi products and its management expertise make Pepsi the better investment of the two companies. Let's do a taste test. I actually think Pepsi tastes better than Coke. What do you think? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so um, do you have any questions with the uh, ratio analysis? No, sir. That's pretty much clear. Okay. Yeah, it's clear. But you know, I wanted to give you um, uh, a website. Okay, it's called a ratio analysis. Um, they have uh, different categories. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to maybe. Um, <clears throat> I find a website is called Instopedia. <clears throat> Okay, um, <clears throat> I think this website, I'm going to send you the link to, uh, to you in this, uh, the chat. You have to click on the chat box and you will find the link here. Okay, <clears throat> when you click on that, and when you click on that link, and you will mm -hmm. see this page here. Mm. Yeah. So when you, yeah. did you see a, a, your Zoom meeting, you click on chat. Mm. Is that okay? You can you can click yeah, on that. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. So ratio analysis. Uh, ratio analysis is a method of quantifying a company's liquidity operation efficiency and profitability, profitability. Yeah. yeah to evaluate its performance over time and relative to its peers right yeah. Yeah, relative to its peers okay we do yes. ratio analysis <clears throat> um okay the last part is talking about the ratio analysis um 
over time. So when you do ratio analysis, how do you know the ratio is, is it good or not good? You need to compare, okay? Compare with that ratio uh, mm. over time. You, you know what that means? Yes, over a period of time that last year it was how much or maybe last season, uh, what, where were we and this season, what we are doing. Like, yes. Uh, the way the session is going, people are really comparing that last April was not this bad, like, but this April, the sale is dropped by 30%, 20%. Mm -hmm. So that's a ratio that what was the um, investment and what was the profit and now they are seeing what's the investment and what's the loss so they compare with the ratio right yes i guess yeah you're right so it's a <clears throat> so when you get the ratio analysis um yeah. so you cannot just talk about the ratio independently you know you need to compare with the the value from the last year was. yeah then you can mm. tell, okay, this is getting better, this is getting worse. And you know, because mm. they compare to last year, you know, this ratio increase or decrease, you know, that's uh, how you uh, do ratio analysis. Uh, mm. Another way is to compare relative to its peers. And the companies are competitors. Yeah. So you can mm. compare the ratio um, relative to its peers. You know what that means? I mean, with the other company's profitability. Uh, yeah. So, so you know, you have um, a company. You do ratio analysis, like say, uh, the example we used is Coke, Coke and Pepsi. Hmm. Yeah. Then you compare with competitors. Uh, Pepsi. Yeah. Yes. You compare with Pepsi. So. Hmm. And you got a ratio uh, for Walmart, and then you compare that with the target, right? Target, yes. Yeah. So compare to its peers, and peers mm -hmm. is uh, you know another company similar to uh, yours in the same industry. So you don't want it to compare, you know, like say you compare the ratio mm -hmm. of Walmart with uh, Apple. You know, it's a different company, right? Quite different. You compare mm -hmm. that with. Uh, Walmart with our target, you compare the ratio of like a Pepsi with the ratio of Coca Cola. So that that's good. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> so mm. the ratio analysis, yeah. So you compare that with the company, uh, similar company in your industry, or you compare that ratio um, over time. So that's a ratio analysis. Uh, ratio analysis, you can see they have. Um, different categories, okay? One is called the liquidity, mm -hmm. yeah. So liquidity ratio measure a company's ability to pay off is a short-term debt, okay, short-term mm -hmm. debt. Yeah, that's a liquidity ratio. Uh, solvency ratio is the company's uh, debt and level with its asset. Basically, this uh, is uh, the company's long-term debt, okay? Mm. Long-term debt. And also the company's uh, profitability, profitability ratio. Mm. Yeah, profitability. Return on investment and equity and capital. Yeah. yeah, the company mm. generate a profitability. Okay, this is the mm. profitability ratio. Another one is efficiency. Efficiency yeah. is- How effective. Yeah, how yeah effective, how efficiently the company is operate, right? Mm. Yeah, so the With company resources. Yeah, the yes, they do not waste of their resources. You know, they they have a good um, uh, cost efficiency. Okay, so you can see those are the major one, two, three, four different categories. It, it could be some other categories. You have a coverage ratio or market perspective ratio. Yeah, that's, a, um, you know, that's a, some other, but mainly we focus on this uh, short-term debt, long-term debt, profitability, efficiency. That's the most common one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also you can have a short video here. 
Mm. Okay. So if you are a manager or CEO of the company, you know, let's uh, let's go to the discussion question, right? Discussion board assignment. Okay, they ask you uh, think of the business. How do you use the two specific financial ratios uh, to ensure the success of the company? Oh, this is for the discussion board, right? Yeah. So this is for mm -hmm. the discussion. Do I need board. to write this, sir? Uh, okay, for today, you already come into the class. So we just discuss, you know, in class. Okay, okay. You don't have to write. Okay, but I have to do the individual project, right? Yeah, you have to do the individual mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, um, after we've, and you know, it we... It looks easy for this week because there is no access sheet. It's just a writing thing. So I'm yeah, happy. So, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show the project right after this one. We finish the sure, ratio. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so what do you think the ratio, you know, which categories of the, uh, the ratio of, or you think about two specific ratio? is most important mm. for the company? Mm. Mm. Most important ratio for the company, right? Yeah. Profitability so, and uh, efficiency ratio, which is which should be yeah. done on a timely short-term basis. Um, obviously, yes. other ratios are also important, but if these ratios are like we are on track with this, then obviously other ratio will be automatically on shape. Like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, like a uh, profitability, right? Profitability mm -hmm. is, is very important. So you, you know, mm -hmm. those are profitability ratio, including profit and margin, return on asset, return on equity. You know, those are uh, uh, measures a company d has mm -hmm. ability to generate profit, right? So that's yeah. a very important, right? So you know, mm -hmm. like we have a family. And we need a person in that family uh, to get the income, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, so that person has more ability to generate income for the whole family. And then other family members can have a good, uh, a good life, right? So the company mm -hmm. is the same thing. You need to have uh, uh, profitability, you know, the, the good ability to generate profit and also yeah. you need to consider right maybe liquidity or something so hmm. what is the other ratio you're talking about mm, profitability and uh, efficiency okay efficiency yeah hmm. efficiency, because if we have machines or something uh -huh. uh, and man and machine if there is a no, no proper combination if they are not well trained or something they don't know how efficiently they should use machinery or given resources mm -hmm. even though you have capital and everything the production will not uh, complete on time and if it doesn't complete on time or automatically other ratio will get affected profitability and um, other ratios the every ratio will suffer because of this problem like so efficiency mm -hmm. is very important yes okay good you know the company they you uh, is going to use their their resource, right? The company mm -hmm. use their resources. They don't have mm -hmm. any uh, anything, you know, to waste. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah. um, good thing, you know, efficient. So mm. yeah, control so, wastage. Yeah. So think about the company. You know, they have a, a ability to generate profit, and also they mm. can manage everything efficient. That's good. Yeah, mm. it's a good co company. Okay. Mm. So now we move to the assignment individual project. We're gonna hmm. see what you need to do here, individual project. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, My questions. Yeah. Wow. So they have the assignment for this. Um, hmm. You know, this is the uh, assignment. We talk so about. this uh, first question uh, to give advertisement it isn't it the role of hr manager why it's under financial manager uh oh yeah 
Okay. So, you know, this, uh, uh, this is your individual project, IP project. They're talking about the role of financial manager is uh, crucial in every type of organization. You can locate mm -hmm. a job posting for a financial manager position from mm -hmm. any job recruiting website. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like uh, indeed.com, like glass.com. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So using a three page paper answer the following questions related to the job uh, description. Okay, so this is a question here. Uh, provide the job posting information such as a company's name and a job title. Is that okay or no? Yeah. It's okay, right? Okay. Yeah, so we got, let's see if we use indeed.com. Have you ever used indeed.com before? Uh, yes, I have searched on indeed.com for job also for the employees. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, when you get indeed.com, they have this website. It looks like a, a Google, you know, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I say, where is Houston? We wanted to look for financial manager, mm. right? Yeah, that's a title for financial manager in Houston, Texas. We're looking for that. Mm. Okay. So you can see financial uh, manager, financial planning, analyst, strategic planning, and yeah. manager, uh, manager financial reporting, financial manager. Let's say we do this one, financial manager here. Mm -hmm. University of Houston. Okay. So they give you that, you know, this is you as a financial manager, they give you- Wow, um, look at their pay. <laughs> I was <laughs> a financial manager. <laughs> yeah. OMG, uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they pay, they pay this much a month after tax. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. And I don't know, this is before tax. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, so the manager responsibility, right? So, mm. it's, you know, that's a lot of responsibility and they have yes. a qualification. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so you can see, you know, looking for that, you know, some of the, uh, uh, the information, right? Mm. Okay, let's you know, we, we go back to the the question we hear, so we have, what they ask? Yeah, the job posting information. What are Yeah, the, so that's what I'm wondering. Why would financial manager will do the job posting? <laughs> Why? Because it's HR manager's work to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So what are the main responsibility and the daily responsibility, right? Mm. And, okay, so you can, you know, refer to the, the website we find. Yes. And they, they do have the job, uh, you know, requirement and the job listing, right? Yeah. Mm. So we can find day-to-day -day activities and responsibility. Yes. Yeah. Prioritize it, coordinate and basically mm -hmm. PODC planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So we have the other thing, the, the third one, describe the main sources of revenue and major expenses you would find. Uh, the related company seeking the financial manager. Okay, this is University mm -hmm. of Houston. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Uh, main source of University of Houston. And what obstacles may the financial manager face in the near future related to revenue generation and expense obligation for the type of company? Hmm. Hmm. So my this one you might have to be more creative, right? So assume or and to know revenue generation and expenses obligation for this type of company. 
yeah obstacles may the financial manager face in the near future related to the revenue point of uh, what kind of inflation challenge? changing huh? economic uh, changing economic condition of the <laughs> yeah. <country. laughs> good. that yeah. will affect financial manager because mm -hmm. he has obligation to pay bills but what we do if uh, there is a more competition in the market what if yeah. um, there is a lack of resources like manpower mm -hmm. if you don't get good employees in your organization you hire from indeed but if you don't hire good people you won't get good uh, outcome from the business so so many obstacles yeah basically man machine and mm -hmm. money if you don't have sufficient then that can be the obstacle right yes yeah that's mm -hmm. good so you know we um uh you know we learned that is called a SWOT analysis before yeah okay the the strengths right weakness no weakness you know so if for that, you, might, you might be uh, more creative and think about you know um the strengths and the weakness what is opportunity okay yeah and opportunity doesn't so, work yeah so you, know, you might give you a uh, more idea right you can think about you know with something um so basically, the strengths and the weakness is from inside of the company. You know, something hmm. inside of the company. Uh, hmm. Inside the company, let's say, uh, like a human resource, uh, financial management or something. And yeah, the company, the strength they, of the company. Yeah, does that company has a good strategy? And hmm. they, you know, like a... Um, the strengths, you know, for that, maybe the company is uh, in a good metropolitan area and more population moved to Houston. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people, you know, from California, they moved to Houston. Yes. Right? Yeah, because and of then, the uh, expensive yeah. of California. It's very expensive. So yes. So the hot and very expensive. Move from north because of the climate conditions. Yeah, Houston is a is a, you know a better place to buy a house, yes. and then mm, they real bring their kids coming in here, so they want to the kids go to college. You know, you know, like, mm, yeah, the strengths. Yeah, and so I this work that, analysis I have to mention in question four or question five. Uh, let me see this question you have uh, here. So you, um. You know, the, the main source of revenue might be the students, like uh, uh, their uh, tuition or something, right? Mm. Yeah, so you just, uh, um, and the manager- In fourth question, right? Where we can yeah, talk four, about what another- That's yes. four, yeah. The, the revenue- The biggest financial ratio. Mm. Yeah, what is their, um, in- uh, oh, no. generate this revenue. question is talking about company strength and weakness. Yeah. Um, so the okay. uh you might you know think about the strengths, you know, the the strengths mm -hmm. and this also the uh, the weakness, right? The weakness and strengths. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what kind of weakness. Weakness. Mm, it maybe. can be it can be technology. Uh, yeah. If you don't adopt uh, latest technology, and if you are using still old technology, then that can be the weakness. Like uh, suppose plastic company, plastic manufacturing mm -hmm. company, they are CNC yeah. machines. So. There are machines nowadays which can make within uh, within an hour five thousand bottle, but if yeah. company is still working with old, where we do manually everything and we can in a in a in an hour you do two hundred dollar uh, two hundred bottle or three hundred, then your mm -hmm. light bill comes a lot. 
yeah it's same thing so if you don't use cost efficient machinery that can be your mm -hmm. weakness but if you have a good manpower who mm -hmm. help in uh, uh, controlling wastage then that can be mm -hmm. your strength yeah yeah you might think about that okay that's good you know yeah, my husband used to work in um, um what do you call it? tanzania and dar es salaam mm -hmm. In a plastic oh. engineer, a plastic um, manufacturing company, and um, yeah. I used to see like how people used to work. I mean, how they never used to adopt. He he always used to suggest that you adopt a new technology. So with mm -hmm. less machine, a less manpower, we can uh, you know produce more uh, quantity. And oh. this discussion have happened there. So yeah, that came to my mind. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Yeah, so we have uh, um, the two strengths, weakness. You can focus on uh, the, mm. the organization. And also there okay. are spread and opportunity, right? So, we, yes. you know, opportunity. It and... is basically competition. <laughs> that always yeah. affects business. Yes, competition, you know, basically that's yeah. a, a good thing we can talk about. Mm. And we can also talk about the inflation you just mentioned, right? The yes. Yeah. Yes, even COVID. COVID is the latest. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. That COVID. affected a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is uh, a uh, very good thing. You know, we're going to, you know, other thing might be, you know, diversity. You know, the people are different. Uh, yes, culture. Yeah, so the culture and the population. Yeah, recent hmm. years, you know, uh, minority students, you know, they have more, right? more from mm -hmm. the minority also they have uh the different income and in, from different uh income family so those are you can you know you can talk about you know i think that's a good and to answer question four uh describe two financial ratios uh likely to utilize mm -hmm. as a financial manager to analyze the company's strengths and weaknesses yeah, I think you might talking about the the ratio. Which yes, ratio? the profitability ratio and yeah. uh, efficiency ratio. Efficiency. Yeah. Yes, very good. The efficiency hmm. and the uh, the profitability, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's very that's, good. That's that's day to day, I guess, and then. Uh huh. On a long term, we can also see the liquidity and other thing. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we have uh, um. So what is the major requirement here is that uh you might a uh, title page. Okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. In all capital. Okay. Yeah. So they are all capitals, and the length is a three page minimum. Hmm. Uh, they give you it can a be more, right? Yeah, I saw the template. Yeah. Um, it can be more, right? If because you can be more. My yeah. pen, I mean not pen, but <laughs> once I start mm -hmm. writing theory, so many yeah. things come to my mind. <laughs> I, I don't have a stop button. Yeah, when it comes to practical like math and everything, I make sure yeah. I finish and I go out from that page fast because it's it's very brain uh, yeah. strong yeah. thing. Good. You can see it here. This is a template. Uh, they mm -hmm. have the your name, instructor hmm. name. This yes, is professor instructor. name and date and subject. This is the instructor's name and your date. And then you write, okay, introduction. Which is meant introduction. Yeah. This is oh, introduction. introduction. So introduction. what should I write in introduction? Uh, introduction is that, okay. So uh, this okay let's say this assignment will introduce a um you know introduce the, the, the role of financial manager right hmm. in in um role uh, different in, type of ratios yeah and the manager's um uh, responsibility Uses. and hmm. the, the skills and oh, okay. It kind of like a, a brief summary of those uh, Something questions. Something about the questions. I mean, uh, yeah. summarize about five questions. Yeah. 
Okay. You, you, you got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the summary. You know, the, and then you for, uh, provide your um, discussion on the first question mm. and second, and the third Sorry. one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. And it. then you make a conclusion. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So. And then you have a sum. Sir, sum. what if I don't if I don't take any reference? I just write everything on my own. Uh okay, so you might have to uh let's say the references page. Mm -hmm. Um okay, let me see the gradient rubric. You need uh, a references. Uh, references um uh the paper you need to cite in APA format. So you do need um, references. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get uh, references, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the yeah, reference- I understand how to take reference. What my question yeah. is, many a time assignments, we don't refer to any study material or we don't need to refer to any Google page. Many things are just in your mind, like this assignment, you don't yeah. always need to refer something, some knowledge you have on top of your head and you write um, it in your own words. So in okay. that. No, at least you need to cite one of the website is you got from like a, a mm -hmm. indie.com. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Oh, okay, 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 yeah, right. Um, that page, they want you to Google or provide a job posting information. Okay, so yeah. we can cite those pages, right? Yeah indeed.com or you you cite one of the website talking about the ratio you know financial ratios oh the page you had showed me yes yeah yes. so which ratios and you you used you know you can okay. that's a, that's a you know that's a, the references page okay yeah. okay yeah so uh we have the uh okay you read those um you know gradient rubric usually uh the scene is that uh, mm. uh the direct quotation may not extend extend 10 percent of the word account of your body okay what that means you know do not do not just copy and paste uh, a lot of mm. uh, articles or contents from the website internet yes. you need mm. to, to write okay yeah. Right. Yeah. Your direct quotation, you know, direct quotation is just your copy and paste, and you put it in your in, in your paper. Just use a quotation mark. That's a direct quotation. So, yeah. yeah so do not just copy and paste. You know, we suggest you to read right. them and paraphrase or hmm. write in your own own words. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Got that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So then check your grammar, you know, you know check your grammar to make yeah. sure in your writing, you know, free uh free of the grammar mistakes. Mm -hmm. It should be in an APA style, that's it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have this one, you finished. Uh, the references you see this one they got uh references of the text yeah 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 I yeah understand. this is the textbook you know the, hmm. you might just include this one hmm. okay. your reference because you uh this is a textbook hmm. okay yeah okay so we have uh the the template you know work on that hmm. uh, Okay, good. And then we have um okay the course at home. Also, I'm going to show you the one, the last one we talked yeah. about here. Yeah. Uh we have a different type of organization. Okay, the company. Okay, so um look at this um uh, of uh, different forms of business. Uh, we have, uh, you know, like, a, uh, did you hear that you have a limited liability company, LLC? Yes, LLC, yes. Yeah. Corporation, LLC, partnership, and yeah. Yeah. 
So these are the, uh, you know, like a three or four different type of business. Yeah. And, uh, in the United States, and most of them are very popular one is the uh, proprietorship. Yeah. Hmm. Proprietorship is, is what you see, you know, when I ask you that question, you, you at the beginning, you say, okay, uh, you are the owner, you want to work for yourself. That's a hmm. proprietorship, right? Proprietorship is you work for yourself and you have the, you invest in that company and also you are also, you work for that company. So basically all the money you earn is yours. Hmm. You, didn't, you, you didn't work for someone else and you invest your own money. You know, the, this is a most popular one. You know, like you have a restaurant, right? You have oh. a restaurant, you have a, a small business, like a make a bars, or you have a donuts shop or whatever. That's a small business is a proprietorship. But a proprietorship, uh, the, you know what is the bad thing for that? Mm -hmm. You know what is the, the bad thing for proprietorship? What is the bad thing? Yeah. Um... The good thing is that you work for yourself. You got all the profit, right? Yeah. Hmm. What is the bad thing? I don't see any bad thing. Okay, you are the only uh, liable for all the losses. Yeah, yes. Okay. That's an unlimited liability. Okay, this is the, the bad thing. So you are, you know, you are responsible for everything. All the losses, yeah. Profits yeah, and losses. For the losses. And for the debt, for the debt, and mm. for the, you know, your customers sue you, everything, you are responsible. You know, if the company, you don't have, uh, you know, money to pay for the debt of the company, or those are sole proprietorship, your personal asset is related to that company. You know what I mean? Mm. Is it not, is it not a separate? So your houses, your car, and uh, uh, the money in your saving account is a, is also has to be responsible for the losses in that company. There is no se mm. separation between these two, so you have mm. to pay off the debt. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's your business. Yeah. So mm. your personal your personal asset, your money, and everything is related to that company. It have to the debt has to you are the only person be responsible. That's the risk, okay? The risk is that. Um, okay, that's why some of, the, uh, some of the people think, okay, that's too risky, you know, because, um, you know, yeah. I was wanted to responsible for the, the money I invest in that company. I don't want to sell my, my house or car to pay for that. So they're looking for partnership. You know, that's a share, someone they're gonna share that profit and also share that responsibility. This is called a partnership. Hmm. Yeah, partnership, they have um, a partner, you know, someone gonna share that, okay? But still, you are responsible for that, the debt, a lawsuit, and any risk. But it's just, you know, you are not 100% uh, responsible for that is someone going to share that. Okay, you might be 50% under partner, you know, 50%. Hmm. Right. Yeah. The other thing is corporation. Do you know corporation is a, a corporation? Good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Corporation, why the company, you know, are we always talking about a corporation? Because a corporation is a limited liability. Okay, the company bankrupt, the corporation bankrupt, you only lost yeah. the money you invest in that corporation. You don't yeah. have to sell your house, you know, you, you, the company or the corporation bankrupt, you still can have your house, your car, and whatever your life is, uh, you have. You only lost the money you invest in that corporation. Yeah, yeah your personal yeah. asset, it's not related to that, that losses. Mm. Is that good? 
now yes. you understand the, the difference between cooperation and the other two, right? Yes. Okay. So that's the, the good thing for cooperation. Uh, the, you know, the good thing for cooperation um, is that there is a clear cut between your personal asset and the asset you invested in that com company or in that corporation. Um, but for corporation, uh, also have problem is with the, the tax. Uh, we're gonna talk about, you know, if you, we go uh, details about the tax is that the corporation, uh, you are investor or you are the owner, you are going to face a situation that's called a double taxation. Double taxation. That means the corporation they have a tax. Okay, a corporation mm. have tax uh, is a corporate tax, and also they give you dividend, and then you have to pay tax income tax on that dividend. Mm. So that's a double tax. Okay, double taxation. Yes. Yeah. But for limited liability is good. Limited liability, you have a limited responsibility. And for the, mm. the debt, and also mm. you don't have to pay double tax. Mm. You That's don't have good. to pay double tax. Only pay the uh, the yeah the, the taxes. Yeah, the the income. Yeah, your personal income tax. You don't have to have paid uh, the corporate tax. Okay, so that's mm. the. The good thing for limited liability, you can see a lot of company they do the LLC. LLCs. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's why LLC. Yeah. yeah, is a good thing, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, a different type of business organization. So yeah. now you you can see, uh, you know what type of business organization you have, it is going to affect your future, uh, your tax. You know the money you paid uh, for the tax, and also it's going to associate with your personal asset, the risk of your personal asset. So that's uh, uh, the most important thing. <clears throat> mm. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, um, that's all for today. Yeah, so um. I'm, yeah, I'm very pleased to have you in class. Uh, yeah. Do you still have any questions? Uh, have any what, sir? Any? Do you still have any questions? No questions, sir. It's pretty much it. Okay. I will have okay. more questions when we do <laughs> Excel thing. <laughs> I don't okay. know how much I'm gonna bother you, but for this theory thing, I'm pretty much clear. Yeah. Because okay. ever since I was a kid, I have seen uh, my family doing business and everything. So I can understand this. Um, oh, okay. But uh, I, I'm more of a uh, vocal than being behind the computers. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not a technology person. I like to interact with people. I like to be a marketing person. I like to do sales, marketing. I was mm -hmm. 16 when I started working. So... I'm mm -hmm. good in talking instead of uh, being behind the computer and do this. So when I see analysis and financial analysis and then their job and everything, um, yeah. I'm not perfect fit for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it just focus on the, um, you know, profitability ratio and efficiency ratio, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 okay. yes, that's correct. Good. Okay, now um, I think... Uh, uh, next week, we are going to meet at the same time next Thursday. Sure, sure. For sure, okay. sir. I'll be there. Uh, I think my aunt will be there at airport. I will try my best to be in class. But okay. if not, I will text you. Uh, yeah. that, sir, I can't be, but I will uh, post something on discussion board and I will also um, I mean, uh, post for the peers. Uh, but okay. I will try my best to be because you are very knowledgeable and uh, the way you explain is really good. So I really don't want to miss. But if okay. in case I have to miss or because of maybe Wi-Fi or some net network issue, because I use my mobile app, I don't have a laptop. So oh, okay. I, whenever I uh, get in a live session, it's through my phone. So if oh, I have okay. any bad network issue or something, I will text you. Um, yeah. But I'll try my best to be there in your class. Okay, great. 
great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. And have okay, a blessed have evening, a sir. Evening. Yeah, have a good evening. Thank you so much. It was pleasant talking to you. I hope I didn't uh, <laughs> overboard you <laughs> because there yeah. were nobody else. That's good. So I'm glad that you, you know, you're talking and speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in class. Yeah. That's a good. Thank you so much, sir. It's absolutely my pleasure. And see you again, sir. Thank you. Okay, bye. see you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Class, welcome to the role of the financial manager. I am Dr. Patrice Nybro here to explain what the role of the financial manager is. And luckily I have been a financial manager for about 20 years on Wall Street. So I'm look forward to teaching you about the role of the financial manager. The financial manager is a liaison between the capital markets and the firm's operations. What is capital? Capital is money. It's money that's amassed. The money you have in your 401k or in your savings, not the money in your pocket, but the money that you are accumulating. And a capital market is the way a firm makes money. So the financial manager works with how the firm makes money and how the firm operates. The financial manager is concerned about the revenue and expenses related to the firm's operations. Everyone is a financial manager. We are the financial managers of our own life. We all have revenue, which is the money that enters our household, and expenses, which are, is the money that leaves our household. That's why I like teaching about financial management, because you could use these ideas in your personal life. You get money in as your paychecks, that's your revenue, and you have bills, and those are your expenses. And being a good financial manager is a very important job, Ignorance is not bliss when it comes to finances. You need to know where your money is going. It's very important for you to know that. The financial manager is responsible for both financing decisions, decisions that involve raising money, and investment decisions, decisions that involve spending money. There are four primary responsibilities for the financial manager and the financial management staff. The first one is forecasting and planning. The financial manager has to coordinate the entire planning process of what the future looks like for the firm, interacting with people in various departments to plan and forecast for the future. The financial manager's goal is to ensure that the company will be in a good position to sustain in the marketplace, make sure it continues to live. That is what the financial manager does, not only making the firm able to sustain or remain in the marketplace, but also to thrive. The most important skills of the financial manager are people skills and mathematical skills. And why do I say people skills? Well, as a financial manager, I would come into my office and I'd stop down in the mail room and pick up the checks, say hey to the mailman and pick up the checks related to my business. Then walk through accounts receivable and, um, and say, hey, here are my checks and then walk past accounts payable and say, hey, what are the bills outstanding? Did I pay my lawyers yet? Okay, please pay this lawyer. It's very important because we want to work with that lawyer in the future. Then pass through accounting and say, how are my revenues and expenses looking? And then get to my desk. When I would get to my desk, there would be a stack of different departments I had to inter interact with, whether it was the printing department to print my marketing material or the CFO's office, checking on my reserves and how much money I have in reserves for bad times. And then I'd put together a budget of the um, profit and loss for the department. And alongside my, the managing directors, I'd have to go up to the chief executive officer of the firm and present my division's profit and loss statements. So 
I just told you a typical day in my life as a financial manager at Citigroup in New York City, walking in, talking to the guys in the mail room, moving it right up to the guys at the top and gals. Okay, investing and financing number two. The financial manager must identify good investment opportunities. Many bad investments does not bode well for a company to sustain. You have to make good investments. This relates to capital budgeting techniques and analyzing investment projects. We will learn about how projects with positive net present values should be accepted and while those with negative net present values should be rejected. Of course, a financial manager needs to understand finances, right? Making good financial decisions ensures the sustainable growth of the firm and the financial manager must determine the best way to finance these investments that we talked about in the past uh, section. So this requires that the manager be knowledgeable about the financial markets. How does a firm raise capital? How does it make, get money? Does it issue new stocks or bonds? Should the firm use only inter internally generated funds to finance these investments? Just the money in the bank. Does the firm look at venture capitalists for money? Does it use a commercial bank for financing? These are some of the most important questions that the financial manager must answer. And using capital budgeting techniques that we will go over in this course will help you with that, answering that question. And lastly, risk management. The financial manager is usually responsible for the management of the overall risk that the firm faces and attempts to minimize the impact of these risks on the firm's operations. <coughs> Excuse me. Dealing with risk. All firms face risks, business risk. That's just risk of the overall business. Will I be able to sell my products? Political risk. What if there's a climate going on that there might be changes in politics and then you won't be able to get your permits done to get your jobs done? Interest rate risk. What if interest rates fluctuate so much and your loans are very, very high? What if there's a bunch of regulations that's going to go into place that are going to limit your business. And what about exchange rate risk? What if you have to go to China to get all of your goods and they are increasing their exchange rate? The yen is getting more expensive. These are issues that the financial manager must face. There are a ton of risks, but a lot of these risks can be managed or reduced if appropriate measures are taken beforehand. So those are the four main jobs of the financial manager, forecasting, investing, financial management, acumen, and risk management. What are the main goals of the financial manager? Profitability, of course. Maintaining profitability means making sure that revenues stay ahead of the cost of doing business. A business owner must focus on controlling costs in both production and operations while maintaining the profit margin on products sold. Maintaining financing, even a company with a great cash flow needs financing contacts in the event that capital is needed to expand the organization or maintain it during tough times. Growth, growth is planned based on historical data and future projections. If you are forecasting, you are responsible for determining what the company will look like as it grows in the future. And growth requires the careful use of company resources, such as finances and personnel. If you want to build another um, pizzeria, you need to hire another chef, right? We need more personnel. Competitive analysis. A competitive analysis of the activities of the competition should be an ongoing business objection, objective for your organization. And the financial manager must look at that. Could I keep inventory low? Or do I have to compete with my my uh, the company next to me that has a lot of stuff in stock. When they come to me, I say, I don't have it. They come next door, they do. That's a problem. In conclusion, financial managers must focus on having money to stay open and run the business. However, these items are essential to help the sustainability of the firm. You have to have happy customers, happy employees, low prices, cleanliness of the business, ensuring that all regulatory laws are enforced, a mission statement that aims to help the community with your business, and most importantly, the financial manager must ensure that revenues exceed costs. Thanks for listening. Have a great night. Bye.